hope you guys are interested in what I have to share because I have makeup and a girl has skin. A girl has no name. I hope you watched Game of Thrones because fucking shit. All right, guys. So, um, whenever I do favorites, I find that I have more skincare stuff. But for once, I have really been enjoying so many products. And I want to share every single one because every single one was complimentary to giving me the looks that I want, giving me the, like, just overall happiness and joy in my makeup. My makeup has changed dramatically in the last two months and it has been a while since I've had favorites. Um, so let's just jump into it. So first thing I wanna mention is this lash primer from Marc Jacobs. Um, it's the, called the Velvet Primer. Velvet, yeah, the Velvet Primer. It's actually really nice. You can wear this on your lashes for about 10 minutes and to condition them but i think that if you wait more than about 60 seconds to two minutes um that it may make your lashes a little bit stiff so i do like to wear this as a primer so that my lashes have something to grip up to grip to and that they can stay and um i personally really enjoy this on my bottom lashes a little bit more than i like them on my top lashes but i do see the benefits of my lashes i've noticed that in the last like month that i've been using it my lashes have not fallen out and they just feel like like stronger and and i'm enjoying that i do sometimes wear um a like brow serum an eyebrow serum to help to grow my lashes i don't know if it's necessarily working but i know that this has definitely been helping a lot i can feel a difference when i don't wear it and um a primer i feel like it's essential to mascara not transferring because for a while every mascara that i wore it felt like it was just like coming down all the time no matter how many coats no matter how lightly or not at the bottom it was just it was just kind of it was just kind of annoying and i just didn't want to do that hold on my feet are cool. this foundation i know that this has been a favorite um a long time ago and i just want to partner with my primer situation i don't know if you guys noticed but like that last video i did with my favorite um like not favorite but my like batty instagram natural work beat was like quite possibly one of my favorite videos for for a very long time i think the last one i really liked was maybe actually i really loved my valentine's day look but i have been loving these two separately and together and i have finally found a solution on how to use this properly and i think that is the way that i have been doing it, which is applying to the face shaking it up because it's a natural you know cruelty vegan brand and um it's putting it on the face rubbing it blending it into the face with a with a brush of your of your favorite and then blending out just to make sure that it doesn't like pile up this is one of those foundations that i think that it would truly benefit if it had a pump so that you can really determine how much you you get but the plus side of it is that i could literally squeeze this out to the end like i can really get my money's worth and i i appreciate milk taking the time to make a product in which you feel like you're you're not getting got and then you're you're able to like truly enjoy you know said product till it's fullest all the way down to the end and i know that i would truly get this i have had the foundation before and i liked it and i couldn't really figure out what i liked because you know as you you as somebody who has a channel you, once you review stuff you try things you put it on and then like you have so much product eventually like information sort of gets lost in translation in the sense of like it's just more makeup and you're accumulating and you're trying different things you have different opinions but the last month i have sat with this like like deeply and truly to understand why i like it this truly is blurring it feels like facetune it feels like somebody from photoshop adobe photoshop came in there and was like yo i'm gonna make you look glamorous i can achieve the look of like minimal texture dark spots covered without having to put too much and i notice when i do put too much sometimes it's like i have to thin sheer or thin it out to really achieve that but either way it looks beautiful it never feels heavy unless i put too much and but even so when i set my powder it just i like that there's still a shine to it it's not like overly matte but it's not demi matte neither like i know that it's gonna stay i know that it's gonna look good with all my other concealers but the fact that like this makes it look even better is like my this is like such a great fucking combo like these two together like i'm hydrated it's gripping my foundation and then i have this blurring and it's gonna stay put it is a little orange but i make it work because i think once you start putting in powders that are tinted or have translucent like are a color to it it ends up working in your favor 
my next favorite product is this mac soft ochre this has changed the game miss oily eyelids girl oh she has something to work with she is i have no meaning to wanting to try eyeshadow more often i have graduated from to uh is it two-faced no urban decays primer potion and using concealer i still do like to use concealer sometimes but i find that if i want to use a vibrant color max soft ochre has been an option for me every single day even when i'm not wearing um eyeshadow and i just really really like that it's nice that i got that on sale and so sometimes when you get stuff on sale and you want to try you never know if it's a hit or it's a miss and it was nice that that, that actually worked and that i enjoy it and keep using um for i would say March and April have been these two concealers. I literally use these together all the time and I'm going to show you guys. So this is 385 from Fenty. Super creamy. And then this is, um, what's this girl's name? Uh, Makeup Revolution. This is the Conceal and Define and the color is C11. So I got Fenty 385 and um, C C11 from Makeup Revolution. These two concealers are so creamy and yes, they are two different colors but i find that when i mix those two together i just get like the perfect color of so i i lay down fenty first just because she's closer to my skin tone and i find that when i mix the two i'm not really getting too bright because i do rely on my powders my finishing powders and my brightening powders to give me the the look that i'm trying to achieve but i still think that a concealer should match um sort of it should everything should work cohesively together when i say cohesively it should be able to be as light as you need without having to rely on the powder to make it brighter because then you have to bake and do all this stuff and i found that sometimes when i used different powders with like an orangey concealer i was never happy with what the outcome was and i just wanted like a little bit of brightness because like i mentioned before and i've said this again that i'm relying on my powders to give me that brightness because i'm a glam girl i want full glam but I want it to look minimal. And lately, since I've been using those two together, I'm super happy. I use them separately. I enjoy them separately. When I want to just spot conceal, 385 has definitely become my go-to because it's so close to my skin tone. Um, and then I use this whenever I know I'm wearing a darker foundation or I'm specifically going towards the milk foundation and I just know it's a little bit orange and I want to balance out, you know, the, the light versus dark and the contrasting. But the fact that they perform to the color that i that i uh, that i choose and the fact that they perform in terms of i will say the makeup revolution is a little bit drying i don't mind it um because fenty has the creamier mist that i need and i never there are times when i use concealers and i found that i was having that issue with Too Faced. this is one of my favorites i still do enjoy this but sometimes i just carve up my brows or conceal my dark spots but it was a feeling a little bit dry, especially with the powder that I was using. But these two together and separately are giving me the hydration, but they are laying mad. It's going to be my Derma Blend. I am so happy that I got this. When I got it again, I forgot the way that I use it. And I almost returned and I was like, I'm unhappy. But I was like, let me give it a full chance. And what happened was I enjoyed pressing it into my skin with a small little brush under the eye because I want to I want to set that first and then I like to go in with a little powder from Joy Mercier and then press it into my skin and then take a brush and sort of buff in whatever I feel like may have skipped or stayed a little bit longer this just gives me that blurring effect that set I just I needed to set I never get white cast even though yes this is a white one and they do come in different colors I wanted the white one because I had such a good experience with it and so my next product is the the reason I'm combining it with it is it's is why these are working and why my skin has been coming out as flawless as it has so i have been loving the charlotte tilbury air flash flawless finish skin perfecting micro powder at number three i will say yes it is a little bit gray but the reason that i like it is because it's the same reason why i love the these colors because they're a little bit neutral a little bit lighter i find that when i mix them with something that's a little bit orange they end up just like giving me a neutral look and everything ends up balancing out with or without this ring light and natural lighting trying this product and enjoying it and using and pressing into my to my face with um i'll show you my favorite brush 
um, I'd be using it with this brush and just pressing it into my skin and, and doing that and not buffing it and I feel like it's giving them the blurring but what really solidified my love for this product is the other night I went out with a couple of friends and uh, this person had a personal photographer because it was like an important event for them and the photographer and I you know got acquainted and she had taken my photo and I was like do you mind if I see the photo because she had like a really like prof big professional camera and uh, a light with it and I was like dude I hope there's no flashback but the makeup photographed so well that I was like really happy because I knew this was the trick if I had just set my face with this I think that it would have just been a doozy like I would have been um that's what I feel like is a flashback. That is why I feel like finishing powder is important and I enjoy this. At first when I got this, it was sitting in my vanity for a while. And I think that there are more times than not that we buy makeup and it sits there and you're like, how do I use this? Should I incorporate this? We have to play with the makeup that we already own. If I've had this for six months and it's just been sitting there and I'm like, how do I do this? And my friend actually motivated me to use it because she had it as well. And I was like, I thought I always needed the the the, the lighter one, but... I don't know this this powder really does give me the blurring effect that I'm looking for but also it's able to neutralize any discoloration in my face but still give me like the chic glamour that I'm looking I like celebrity glowy skin that looks like I paid for the most expensive dermatologist to take care of my skin and I feel like I achieved that with this it is such a pricey powder especially for $45 and I will say that I'm starting to see a little bit of a dent because you don't get a lot of powder in it is there other products on the market absolutely and I'm going to figure out what they are dude this cover effects powder oh, this 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 whole thing is so gorgeous this is the perfect face palette um from cover effects it's a medium to deep we've got um heavenly which is a highlighter we have twilight which is a highlight and then sunbeam at the top which is a um a brightener and then below here you have the shadow and then uh contour which is called shadow a solar which is called finishing powder and the majestic i have used everything but the finishing powder just because this finishing powder i'll be honest with you i don't know if i want something that peachy on my skin which is interesting because i feel like they should have just made you know separate um contour kits whatever they're supposed to be this is the type of kit that you have as a makeup artist i think as someone who um do I consider myself a makeup artist? I think in some regard, yes, but I feel more like a beauty enthusiast, someone who truly appreciates and wants to buy and learn more about makeup, regardless if that requires me to apply makeup on other people. But something like this, I think a makeup artist can definitely appreciate, can definitely benefit from. But I think as a regular shopper, shopaholic as myself, I'm definitely into the blush. I love the highlights. I love them together. I love them separately. The brightener, I have mixed feelings about just because, you know, who the fuck is putting this bright ass shit under their eye? You know, I don't, maybe I'll put it below my brow bone. See, I definitely got like, you know, I, I've, I've, I think for as amount of the amount of product in there, I'm okay with like not needing to this. I would definitely buy this blush if it was by itself. I'd definitely buy the contour if it was by itself. But the highlights, definitely they would get my money. Like if I had to choose, these highlights would definitely get my money today, tomorrow, ASAP. They're really pigmented. They're so beautiful. They're so buttery. And they just look good on brown skin, which I appreciate. Like I know they took the time to make the right product for us. And like look at how they show up and the fact that I didn't have to choose between bronze and a pinky and the fact that like if you mix them in how well they look together is my favorite thing. The best part is that sometimes blush and highlight does disappear on me but with the mix of you know this primer and this combination that I've been showing you guys honestly my makeup has been saying all, all right so the last two things are skincare I'm going to talk about these two products which is the milk um watermelon brightening serum you know I really underestimated this product but lately I've been using it especially under my eyes and around my dark spots and I feel like it's been lightening so much I gotta figure out what ingredients in here that has helped I've really really enjoyed this especially like if it's in the refrigerator and then I put it on like the cooling stick I liked with this one I've been like so more so much more it is a little bit thick but I do like to like um, rub it into my skin and then spray this bad boy which is the glow recipe water glow ultra fine mist I love this after makeup but I really love this inside of my makeup sorry my skincare routine and um, it's just really nice I was like really hesitant on using it 
Um, my beefing tin is that like, all right, I love face mints. A lot of people think that it's a waste of money. I don't care what those people say. Face mints are very soothing. When the summertime comes, you're gonna to wanna to spray your face. I'm definitely throwing this in my bag. I should probably stop using it so that I can preserve it for spring and summer. It's a really good product and it smells like a Jolly Rancher, but there's no fragrance, I guess, in it. Maybe it's at the lower one, but I get such a beautiful glow on my cheeks. Sometimes I just spray my cheeks and not the rest of my face so that I could just look glowy and the rest look matte. That's like my ideal kind of look. But I've been happily, happy with the results. Um, I do love these together. I love them separately. Um, it's honestly been such a great month for skincare and makeup for me. I'm like happy because I think this is the first time in quite some time that I like have something to talk positively about, about each product and how they've um, been incorporated to my skin and makeup routine and how much I've enjoyed them and like the final look to the point that I like get compliments from people I think those are sort of the defining moments of like does my makeup look good because people are noticing and it's not just for me and my channel because not everybody watches my channel and and um, I'm kind of grateful for that because it makes me feel like I'm learning and I'm evolving within my makeup journey and I hope that every time I share that you guys are getting something out of it. I do enjoy like just having my little gray sweater and my, my nerdy glasses and talking about makeup without having to feel glam and try to like, um, sorry my phone is off the hook, <laughs> um, feeling like I have to like get super glam. It's nice to just let your guard down and just be yourself and share the knowledge. So. I will see you guys next time for my next video. Sign off in the comments if you tried any of these products and I will see you guys next time.